Not a good night for PSG in the Champions League, but once again... Yeah, but not a disaster. More, there was another situation also with uh, Rafinha arriving alone in front of Donnarumma, but Donnarumma did ever so well to stop him. Uh, but they played well, uh, like I mentioned before, Lewandowski, the way he played up front, allowing his team to come. They play him first, then they go on the wings. And then you know, when you have guys like Rafinha that can, that can have a goal, Lewandowski had a goal also on, uh, on a cross that uh, Donnarumma saved, and then Nuno Mendes saved on the line. So. Yeah, they, they had some uh, some opportunities where they could have been, you know, way, way, way ahead at half time. How would you assess Mbappe's performance today, Jules? Very disappointing, Dan. And there was a lot of people <coughs> here who felt again that, you know, he relied a lot on him, that for PSG to go through, they needed him to be at his best. He had three shots tonight, zero on target, only one successful dribble out of five, won three duels out of 12, and lost the ball, I think, 13 or 14 times. He was just not, not good, and I think, like the boys said, Barcelona defended really well on him. But I also thought that he made the wrong, he took the, he made the wrong decision too many times. Either the extra touch or the wrong pass, shooting where maybe he shouldn't have, and he felt a bit isolated as well and not really connected to the rest of the team. I don't think the tactics wow. helped. Well, Pedri just came on, and and Peter mentioned it. When you have the luxury of bringing Pedri in the game, um, it's just. Is, is just 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 amazing. Uh, Xavi realised it was getting away from him a little bit. Then he looked to the bench. You know, Pedri, Christensen, who's played in the middle of the park, and they looked a little bit, uh, a lot more solid in there. So really, really good game. So I was surprised how quick the second goal came after the first one. But then what I was more surprised about is the 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 way Barcelona are at the moment. You would have thought that maybe okay they're going to collapse, but they came back. Uh, obviously, as we know, to win the game. And Mbappe, relatively quiet. You know, it's going to be a big game at the Monjuic for him. Mm -hmm. All these youngsters will be looking at him and say, listen, we're up against it here. We need a big performance from you. He wasn't bad tonight, but he, w if we're talking about PSG, he was not their main man tonight. Hand tight, three of the most important players, or at least two of them for Paris Saint Germain, then Bele and Mbappe, they were very quiet, not because they didn't do a good well. I totally agree with it. Uh, with great, because Barcelona defender did a, such a great job doubling up on the wide area. Secunde, uh, in one side with Araujo, and the other side, Kubarsi and Cancelo, they were all ready uh, to, to make marks, uh, to, to cover in one to each other, to double up in the wide areas, to try to tie the, them up and not let them to turn around or, or face you. That is when they are very, very dangerous in the end. You think, oh, what are we going to get? Bang, goals, crazy performances, and, and, and people that come out of the woodwork. These young kids at Barca, mm. they, were, they were tremendous today. You look at the performances of the players at this level, you think it's the experience that gets you through, but sometimes you need that fearlessness of the likes of Kabasi, uh, Yamal coming in and, and playing with that. You think what we were doing at 17, 18 years old, 16 years old, there's no way that we could have gone in there and performed at this level with the, the kind of energy and the, the aura, the, the way the chests were out. I'm meant to be here. It was unreal. Really good to see. The second leg is anything like the first leg. It, it's going to be fantastic entertainment. A bit like last night, I don't think it's great entertainment for the coaches mm. because they're seeing so many mistakes and bad decisions. And So Andreas, first of all, happy birthday. 28 today. What a birthday present to come on and your first touch to score. Just just put us in that moment. No, I think it was just a bit of luck, birthday luck that I needed. Uh, and then I had a little bit unlucky after now can I play the second leg, which is also feeling a little bit in my head at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm, right now I, I try to be happy. Uh, we are alive, we had a good result in a difficult place, but uh, the birthday luck was there. Pedri, 
to Rafinha and that te technique that he used to make that goal, that made my evening today. Your team's performance tonight? Yeah, thank you so much. It's a big win, of course. Uh, playing again uh, uh, away, sorry, in Champions League, so it's a big win, but missing one game in Barcelona, of course, we did really well in defence, in attack, especially in defence, everybody worked for the team. Uh, tactically, we, we did really, really well, really well. The wingers helped us a lot. Uh, Kubasi jumped uh, so well to uh, first to Kang Ying Lee and then uh, uh, to, sometimes to Asensio, sometimes to... Uh, because they, they changed a lot of players. Uh, we defend so well in Mbappé, uh, with uh, Koundé and, and, uh, and, and Ronald uh, Araujo, so, and we create many chances. I think uh, Robert made the difference, Rafinha, uh, and then the players that came inside uh, did really well, helped us a lot, especially Pedri. So, very happy and very proud of the, of the team. Yeah, it's too strong. I didn't have time to reflect, but it was a pity. Really a pity because I think we started the match uh, properly, in a good mood. But uh, after we conceded the goal, it was uh, a little bit disappointed. And the second half started uh, the best way for us. We could score even the third one, but suddenly we suffered the second goal and the last goal we could do, I think we created some chances even to score a goal and yeah, at the end it's a, a result that uh, for us it's a pity, but uh, we are Still the spirit to go to Barcelona and try to Soccer win. fans also reacted on Elon Musk's social network to the meeting between Ronaldinho and Rafinha before the match against PSG. Here's what some of them tweeted. He passed him the magic. He received the touch from the almighty Joga Benito. He scored two goals and was player of the match with his inspiration in attendance. Hope he can give me more advice. So that's why Rafinha scored two goals. He passed on an anointing to his Bambi. That's why Rafinha scored twice in that match. I think he should be coming more often he impacted his performance a lot. No wonder. So this was his motivation. No wonder he plays so well he tap grace and play like Ronaldinho. Makes sense why he cooked PSG. Rafinha paid tribute to Neymar on one of his two goals in the match, using his usual celebratory gesture. Neymar controversially left PSG because of Kylian Mbappe, with whom he had several fights. Reacting to the tribute on FC Barcelona's social network, where he spent four years of his career using emojis, Neymar thanked Barcelona's number 11. The celebration with Neymar I had already told my wife that if I scored I would celebrate the same and pay tribute to him too, said Rafinha. Osmane Dembele was heavily criticized after the game by Barcelona fans. Many fans have shown disappointment with Dembélé on social media and are calling for him to receive the Luis Figo treatment in the second leg for celebrating his goal against Barcelona. Many Barca fans have shown disappointment with Dembélé on social media and are calling for him to be given the Luis Figo treatment on the second hand for celebrating his goal against Barcelona. He scored a beautiful goal and forgot about his pat at Barcelona. He really didn't show any respect for the club," said one user. Another said, always remember that the Barca team did all that for Ausmane only for him to betray us with that celebration. Look what we did for Dembélé when he was injured several times. Even Messi wore the shirt with his name and number. The only courtesy and thanks he could have shown us was not celebrating after he scored, but the team celebrating as if they had won the Champions League. People complain because we're angry that Dembélé celebrated, it's not about celebrating, it's about how he celebrated, not even Ronaldo celebrated like that against United, Neymar wasn't a snake, Dembélé is. The celebration gave Barcelona the potential to show that they are not bigger than the team. Disgraceful player. He fits in perfectly at PSG. Kulers, how should Dembélé be treated when he returns home for the second leg? Usman Dembélé with a chance at PSG as well? Well, if... If Dembélé scored that goal, I would have gone and celebrated that goal with him in Paris. <laughs>